Happy Wisdom Wednesday, everyone. And as you can tell, I am back home here in California. Had a fantastic trip in Turkey. And so I'm excited to bring you this book of the week because this is actually a pretty old book of the week. And I realized I never reviewed it. Although it's probably the most recommended book that I give out to all the people that I mentor. And it's called The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now by Meg Jay. Now, Meg Jay is a psychologist and after two decades and thousands of clients, she compiled it and wrote this book many years ago. It has an updated uh, edition now. And I read this book actually when I was, I believe, 26 or 27. But even though it was a little bit later in my 20s, it's an extremely important book for me. And here's the reason why. The thought is that the way you spend your 20s, the relationships you form, the things you learn, the things you do, really sets you up for the rest of your life, and it makes a lot of sense. And the reason why is that later on in life, things start to get in the way. You know, mortgage, family, you know, life gets more complicated. And so in your 20s, it's extremely important that you focus on what you do, with whom, and how. All right? This is why a lot of the most famous entrepreneurs, when you look at Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, they happen to you know make their big leaps in their careers in their 20s, right? Because very little uh, risk and you know a whole lot of upside, right? And so I recommend this book really for anyone, but especially if you're in your 20s, you're starting out your career. And let me tell you a specific chapter in here that I think is extremely important. That's around the idea of identity capital. Now, Google defines capital as whatever you're able to own in the form of money and assets, but identity capital has to do with your identity. Right? And when you're in your 20s, the way we usually think about identity is what do I put down on my resume, right? But the thing that I tell most of my students and the people I mentor is that there's always going to be somebody better, right? There's going to be somebody who went to a better college, did a better internship, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so what do you do not only to separate yourself, but more importantly, build on your identity? And this can be going to the experiences you have, say traveling, mentorship, internships, things you read, things you get exposure to, right? It's, a, it's the assets and capital you bring to an adult relationship, right? Because especially when you're young and you're in your 20s, you're starting a career, when you get hired, we're going to assume that you know nothing, right? And so whatever you're able to bring to the table, which is unique experiences, right? Uh, places you've traveled, uh, things that you've learned, right? Is really powerful. And for many uh, of my students, you know, not everybody has the luxury to you know, spend money and go travel. Some of you, even though you're young, you have to take care of a parent or you have other responsibilities. And so the best thing that I recommend to all my students and everyone who's listened to me and done this has had extremely good results and, and really moved their career forward, which is go on LinkedIn and spend time documenting, right? For those of you who are in school and many of you say, well, I'm a student, I can't do any of that. You're learning things in class. Take time to take the things that you learned and turn it into article, turn it into a post, get on LinkedIn and connect with people. Because here's what's interesting. There are amazing authors like Meg Jay, many authors here who are extremely famous, but nobody really engages with them on LinkedIn. So this is your opportunity, not only to get in front of those people, but make those connections, start building on your identity so that people realize and think about you and say, oh yeah, I remember this person when they started posting and writing on LinkedIn, right? You start building your identity and bringing these experiences and amplifying it at scale through a platform like LinkedIn. So definitely go out and get the book. And my recommendation is look at your life. What are you learning every week? And take that and make these posts on LinkedIn. Engage with me, engage with other people because people will go out of their way to help you, especially when you're young, because many of us, if not all of us, will find something in you that we see in ourselves, right? And what I would tell you is that even me, when I started, when I read this book in my late twenties, and I started learning more about marketing, I have all these books on, on marketing. And as I would learn, I started to write you know, little summaries about those books and those summaries, right? And those articles that started to evolve attracted a lot of different executives and leaders who got exposure to my work. And this actually uh, catapulted my career. So you never know who's watching and you never know who's paying attention. So start building that identity capital, go out and get this book. If you're in your twenties, I highly recommend it. As always, happy Wisdom Wednesday and we'll see you next week. Be safe and bye for now.